Here we're going to tie Barry's Cart Bitter. This is a new fly by Barry, developed on the South Platte River here in Denver. First thing you're going to do is just get your thread started and tie in a pair of medium black bead chain eyes. You're going to want to leave a little bit of room in front behind the eye of the hook. Once you get those secure, you can take your thread all the way back to the bend of the hook. And we're ready to tie in the tail, which is just going to be some grizzly marabou. I'm going to use kind of a brown color. It's like a golden brown. But you can use tan, a few other colors. You only want this tail to be about the length of the straight portion of the shank of the hook. And you can trim out all the extra ends of the marabou here. Make sure it's nice and secure. Now we're going to tie in the legs, which is just some barred and speckled crazy legs in orange. And I'm going to take two legs and right in the middle of those that strand of legs, I'm just going to lash it down to one side, leaving the other half hanging off of the, the front. And then I'm going to take the other side here and just pull that other chunk of the two legs to the other side and secure it into place. Now we're ready to trim the legs. I like to trim these legs about twice the length of the, the tail. So I go the length of the tail and then a little bit more and you can trim them out of the way. Now the color we're going to be tying here is going to be the mango color. So we're going to mix two parts cream Angora goat dubbing and one part hot orange or fluorescent orange, just some type of orange. And you can mix these to, together. I do that just by taking the strands and pulling them, mixing them together. And then you can apply it to the hook. This stuff is very slippery stuff. I actually lick my fingers or you can use wax to apply it to your thread. You can use a dubbing loop, but the dubbing loop is very, very shaggy with this dubbing. So you'll get very long strands. So if you're going for that look with this fly, that's okay. but. Uh, Traditionally, it's dubbed just a little bit tighter. And we're going to dub this body here about up to where the point of the hook and the thread intersect, maybe just a hair farther. I'm going to build up a little bit more of a body here. I like it to be a little bulkier back here. It takes me a minute to get this dubbing working. Here we go. And just add a tiny bit more. That should probably finish her off. There we go. I'm going to try to stroke most of it back. It's okay if it's a little bit shaggy. Nothing wrong with that. Now what we're going to do is tie in our soft tackle, which is just a tan piece of grizzly soft tackle. I'm going to tie it in by the tip. Trim out the excess. Now what we're going to do is we wrap this soft tackle. I'm going to try to stroke these fibers 
back as much as possible. And we're going to wrap back up on this, so if they splay a little bit, don't worry about it too much. Then you can capture the the feather. This one didn't cooperate with me too much. Twisted on me a little bit, but like I said, don't worry about that too much if it happens to you. We'll fix that in this next step. Now what we're going to do is just take all those fibers, pull them back. We're going to wrap back up on them just a little bit. There we go. Now we're ready to dub the rest of the head. We're going to use the same goat dubbing, apply it the same way. Now this step, you definitely don't want to use the dubbing loop. If you do, the head will get way too shaggy and the fibers will start to reach all the way back towards the back of the fly. You definitely want to just dub it onto the thread at this step. I've made the mistake of using a dubbing loop here and it didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to. A little more dubbing going here. Mix it up again. Ran a little short. Make sure you get around these eyes. It's usually what I do is I wrap around these eyes a couple of times. Make sure you get some right up by the head. Almost finished. Just got to polish it off here. This is probably takes the longest here is dealing with this goat dubbing. It's very coarse and slippery stuff. It adds kind of a natural translucence and sheen to your flies. I really enjoy the way it looks. Make sure to build up a nice round head here. There we go. we are. Once you get to the eye of the hook, just give it a quick whip finish. And if you like a little bit shaggier look, you can rough it up a little bit with your dubbing brush, but I'd be very careful how much you rough it up. Just a little bit of shag's all right. Definitely don't want to overdo it. There we go. And that's all there is to Barry's Cart Bitter. This is the, the mango color. This is one of his favorites and also one of mine. Very effective carp fly in our river here on the South Platte. Catches big fish. Lands nice and soft. Has a great look to it. You can buy all the materials for this fly at intheriffle.com.